Hi guys, so I've had my ring doorbells for three years now and in this video I will provide you with my honest opinion about them and whether or not you should buy one. So let's get started. Having been living at my current address for just over two years now, I've actually used both of these ring doorbells at my prior residence. It wasn't until I moved that I took them with me, installed them myself and I have peace of mind when I'm either asleep or away from the property. In the first few months of moving in, I did get quite a few strange characters at my door during daft hours of the night. I was either asleep or I was still awake and was able to talk to them. Some have tried my door at night, others smoking cannabis and refusing to move unless I threatened to call the police. First, my two ring doorbells are battery powered. You can attach them to the existing doorbell, but to keep it simple, I charge them for a couple of hours every few weeks, and they last quite a long time. The app is ideal for those who are only viewing in real time and event histories, but you can also customize certain aspects, such as your motion zones, recording lengths, and so much more. Now, there are plans that allow you to record to the cloud when you receive alerts. In the UK at the time of this recording, for the basic plan, it's 349 or 34.99 a year for one doorbell. I typically use this as my front door saves a lot more action than my closed back garden does. But for both cameras, it's £8 a month or £80 a year. In my prior house, both ends would get near enough the same type of activity. So if you do too, I recommend paying the £80 a year. Not only for peace of mind, but you have those records in the cloud only accessible to you. And you can either share the footage with the police in the event of a break-in or post to social media. The cameras are 1080p HD with a 180 degree field of view with night vision. If you have an Alexa device, you can use Ring with it. I used to own an Alexa Echo with a screen and was able to easily flip back and forth between cameras using only my voice. The doorbells themselves are screwed in using a special type of screw. I often wonder if this is widely available and if anyone could detach it from the wall. More often than not, if reported, Ring will actually replace it for you. Although I don't know if there are any certain terms and conditions for that. Lastly, would I recommend buying a ring doorbell? If you live in a fairly safe neighbourhood and there's rarely any crime about, then no. But a ring doorbell does more than detect intruders. People use them when they're in danger, such as abusive relationships. I've seen many footage on YouTube of both women and men calling for help using a ring doorbell. Ring provides peace of mind and that's something you would never get 10 to 20 years ago with a standard security alarm. They're great for alerting your neighbours during a break-in, but it doesn't stop them from entering your property and stealing things what are yours. With Ring, you can see what's happening and that's the biggest difference. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Leave a comment down below and I will see you in the next video.